Today, we are going to go over the ultimate protein powder tier list. We're going to be ranking and comparing 22 different brands. I have 90 to 95% of them with me here. I've tried all of them. There may be a few that I do not have, but you guys can always check out the full article and blog. We will also put down links in the description box and in the pinned comment where to find all these products. If you guys want to purchase any of these products, we'll probably have a discount code or just a way to save some money in general. So make sure you guys check it out at the end of this video. Without further ado, let's get started. I love these types of videos. It'll be a little longer, but very, very informative and fun. That's the most important thing here, guys. We are going to be ranking protein powder. So let's get started. We're going to be going over the five different tiers or categories. The first one, as you guys can see, is King of Games. This is the best of the best, unmatched in their quality and effectiveness. These products rank highly in every category. Taste, mixability, protein percentage, transparency, you name it. This is the best of the best. Protein Paradise, the second tier. They're excellent proteins at the end of the day. They mix well, they taste good, they support your fitness goals. They could have some improvements, but great purchases at the end of the day. Middle ground of protein powders. These products are reliable they do their job without any fuss they may not blow every category out of the water but they are dependable for regular use fourth place is rough reps this tier includes protein powders that are good but definitely fall short in a few or most categories they require a bit more effort to enjoy it may be a little harder to incorporate in your daily life or your routine i would likely avoid these products unless there is a very specific use for taking it we have hang up the scooper it's the bottom of the bottom probably some proteins you want to avoid there's going to be a lot of drawbacks when it comes to the hang up the scooper so without further ado let's get started now let's get started with ranking all 22 protein powders i'm not going to be as informative as i usually am when it comes to the specific review videos you've seen on the channel when i dedicate one product for one review youtube video going over the carbs the fats the proteins who i recommend taking it who i recommend not taking it things i like things i don't this is going to be personally speaking how i think the protein is for myself and what i can recommend for you guys less informative on specific scientific stuff, but more getting to the point and just giving you my overall honest experience. So let's get started. First one is Ghost Whey Protein. We've given it a middle of the way. Ghost Whey Protein, it's a little on the higher end at around $1.73 per serving. The average, when we as a company at Feast Good took the average protein cost, it was $1.34. So this is on the higher end, $1.74. The macronutrient profile is subpar. You're going to get 25 to about 27 grams of protein per scoop. The flavor profile is really where it shines. They do awesome collaborations with different influencers and companies like Chips Ahoy, Nutter Butter, Cinnamon Bun. If you are someone that wants to always rotate flavors or loves flavors just in general, I think Ghost is the best tasting protein powder on the market. Flavors are awesome. You're gonna pay a little bit of a premium, which is why it's on the middle of the way. The macronutrients could definitely be a lot better. You're not getting that 85 to 90 to 95% of protein per scoop. You're gonna be somewhere in that 80, 75% category, which is why it's at the middle of the way. But specifically guys, for me, if I, want to take a protein powder throughout the day i want it to taste good and i want to be able to actually take it muscle tech 100 whey protein i tried the triple chocolate one scoop 36 grams 2.5 grams of fat nine grams of carbs and the protein is only 20 grams the flavor was mediocre it was all right it's grass-fed whey protein i'll give it a thumbs up for that but anything less than 60 percent guys I highly recommend you don't buy it because I just feel like you're wasting your money. You're buying a protein powder, but you're only getting 50% of protein. And that's why I believe that this has got to go hang up the scooper. Next up to the plate, we have Transparent Labs Grass Fed Whey Isolate. If you've been watching feastgood.com, if you've been watching our videos, you know that we've done a ton of videos on Transparent Labs, all their products, but their protein is one of the best proteins I've ever taken. Not due to its flavors, which is awesome. About 93% protein per scoop. This is an awesome all around great product. Not only do they have, I think eight to 10 flavors. So you're definitely gonna like one for sure. It's a little bit more expensive, costing about $1.73 and $2 per serving, somewhere in between there, but you're getting your money's worth. 
And that's the reason why we have put it up at King of Gains. Next up to the plate, everyone, is BulkSupplements.com Whey Protein Isolate. Now, this protein goes, and this company goes straight to the point. Not only is it not in a tub, it's in a Ziploc kind of baggy, baggy feel. If you like to go to and from the work, you're always on the go, throw it in the car. This is probably a lot more convenient and easier for you. You're gonna be getting about 95% of protein per scoop as this one is 30 grams. It's got zero grams of carbs, less than one gram of fat and 26 grams of protein goes straight to the point. It doesn't come with a scooper actually inside and it only comes unflavored, which is this. So if you're an unflavored kind of protein person and you got a protein scoop lying around from an empty bottle, this is probably great for you. This protein powder tops our charts for quality and protein percentage. But like I said, guys, its drawbacks affecting its convenience and ease of use drop this down a couple notches so we have given it the middle of the way let's put that up right now next on the list is the premier protein shakes the rtds the ready to drink now when i first tested these out on the channel i absolutely love them they're easy to take and just go you don't need to open a tub take the scoop dump it in put it in water, milk, you literally just take it and run, drink it, right? You could bring it to your workout session and take it while walking to your car. It is that easy to use. The protein is gonna be 30 grams of protein per RTD and they have 24 added vitamins and minerals. With a blend of whey and casein proteins, these shakes have a nice thick texture and provided good satiety. The biggest knocks when it came to the RTDs is against needing to be refrigerated. You don't need to do this, but they highly recommend this and it's gonna be better long-term. Now, when it came to the actual ranking itself, everyone, we had to throw it into rough reps. And the reason for that is because of the pricing. Now, it came in a little bit higher at about $2 to $3.50 per shake. If you're not someone that's worried about the money, then this may be higher on your tier list. But for us, while incorporating all the different categories and characteristics, we've had to give it rough reps. And the next one that's up to the plate is Naked Way. I have the Naked Mass in front of me, but I just wanted to show you guys the packaging. We're gonna be ranking the Naked Way, which almost looks identical to this. I tried the chocolate version of the Naked Way, and I'll be honest, it did not taste the best. It costs around $1.60 per serving. Naked Way has a significantly lower protein percentage anywhere between 63 to 83% and it's still below a lot of the other natural products. For these reasons, we'd have to give it the rough reps. Next one up to the plate is Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Way. I got into this company because of Steve Cook when he was on the ON team years and years and years ago. This company has been around for over 20 I think 20 years. And it's funny because they have roughly 20 different flavors. You're gonna love this protein if you love a ton of flavors, which you can always just go in and out with different flavors all the time. Here are a few stats that I thought you'd probably want to know. They're informed choice certified, making it safe for use by drug tested athletes, which is awesome. They also use a blend of three different proteins, hydrolysate, concentrate, and isolate, which makes it a great any time of the day protein powder that is good for post workout recovery while keeping the cost low. In regards to cost, it costs anywhere between a dollar to a dollar 10 per serving. In regards to the taste, I thought it was a bit bland when mixed with just water or milk and the powder always had clumping and mixability problems. Overall, it's a high quality protein product and it's affordable for many people. Due to these reasons, we had to give it protein paradise. Let's throw it up there and get on to the next. Next up to the plate is Alani New Whey Protein Powder. Alani New is made exclusively of fast digesting whey proteins, isolate and hydrolysate, which makes this a good post-workout option, but not so good if you were looking for satiety and fullness. In regards to the flavor profile and the tasting, I thought it tastes unbelievable. Something the brand is known for for across all of its products, provided you do like sweet tasting things. So even when I just mixed it with this water, I found the taste to be strong and sweet. It also has added enzymes, which is a benefit if you want that, and it helps support digestion and its low sugar formula means that this may be a suitable option for people with a lactose sensitivity. Let's quickly go over its macros. One round in scoop is 31 grams, one gram of fat, two grams of carbs, 23 grams of protein. You're getting anywhere between 73 to 84% of protein per scoop, depending on the flavor, and it costs about $1.50. Given all of these reasons, 
we've given it the middle of the way. Let's put it up there right now. The next one up to the plate is Legion Whey Plus protein powder. It focuses using high quality ingredients with no artificial flavor sweeteners or dyes. So when I tested the cinnamon flavor specifically, I did notice a weird aftertaste, but I appreciated how it mixed really well and digested well. Legion Way in regards to cost comes in between $1.80 and $2 per serving. The same as actually Transparent Labs weight, but Legion only has 21 to 24 grams of protein, putting it at 74% of protein per scoop. Now, given it's only 74% of protein per scoop, it costs a little bit higher and the weird aftertaste, we're gonna have to put it at the middle of the way. So let's go ahead and throw it up there right now. The next one is the Accent Way protein. It falls into the same realm as Transparent Labs and Legion Whey. They avoid the use of artificial flavors and sweeteners. They're gluten-free and informed choice certified. I personally found this protein powder tasted really great. I tried the chocolate flavor when I did have it and it had a really nice chocolate taste. It wasn't too sweet and went really well into yogurt coffee, and oatmeal. Unfortunately, it was hard to dissolve entirely and it required a shaker bottle with a spring ball or a frother for it to properly dissolve. And it's not something that I always want. If I'm gonna be taking protein, I want it to be easy. In regards to protein percent of calories, depending on the flavor, it's gonna be anywhere between 71 to 83% of protein per scoop. So if you're getting those flavors that are 71, 72, 73, then it may fall lower on your tier. If you're getting something as high as 83, which I would highly recommend you aim for, it could be a little higher on your tier. If it weren't for those two factors, protein percent ability and mixability, we put it a little higher, but due to these reasons, everyone, we have to put it at middle of the way, which I'll put it up there right now. Next one up on the list is PE Science Select whey protein powder. Look at the flavor, cake pop. How can you not like that, everyone? How can you not like that? Let's quickly go through the macros here, everyone. One rounded scoop, 31.5 grams, one gram of fat, two grams of carbs, 24 grams of protein. That is unbelievable. So they use a unique blend of whey isolate, a fast digesting protein, and caseline, which is a slow digesting protein. This combination makes this a very versatile product. If you wanna take it before bed, if you wanna take it straight in the morning, right after a workout, right after work, it doesn't matter. It's a great protein, got great versatility. It mixes well, it tastes great, and the cost, everyone, $1.15 to $1.48 per serving. Now, depending obviously on the size you buy, it's a little lower for a small guy like this. Now, there is some variability in protein content depending on the flavor. Chocolate truffle has the lowest at 74%, but all the other flavors within the great or excellent categories for protein percentage, which is about 85 to 90%. Because this isn't a pure whey isolate, this might not be ideal for someone with a lactose sensitivity, but P Science does use artificial sweeteners, which some people might choose to limit in their diets. Overall, this is a fantastic, versatile, and third-party tested protein powder with incredible price and incredible taste, and we gotta put it up at king of gains. Let's go and put that up there right now. So take a look at the tier list so far, everyone. We got king of gains with two, protein one, protein paradise one, five in the middle, two second bottom and one at the very bottom. All right, everyone, next one up to the plate is Isopure Whey Protein Powder. It's got 25 grams of protein, one gram of carb, and 0.5 grams of fat. There's about 41 servings in this container, and one scoop is 33 grams. Isopure sounds like a too good to be true product, with a protein percentage between 91 and 100%, depending on the flavor you get. It's a whey protein isolate, now, I was absolutely blown away by how good the Dutch chocolate flavor was, and Isopure mixed really well in a standard shaker cup. It is a bit more expensive than other proteins on the market, coming in at about $1.58 to $2.28 per serving. It is in line with the other quality whey isolates. However, the extremely high protein percentage and added vitamins and mineral blend definitely justifies its cost. I do think there are better value products out there in the market, but Isopure can be a great option for people who typically skip breakfast or want the added nutrients. This could be a more cost-effective alternative to the premier that we went over, but it actually doesn't require refrigerating, right? So I'm gonna have to put this in middle of the way. So let's go ahead and put that up there right now. Next one up to the plate is going to be the Pro Mix grass-fed whey isolate. The one I tried was the French vanilla. 
while going through the ordering process they have quizzes and their website was pretty good it's a high quality product it's good mixability virtually lactose free third party tested with all publicly available results however two key points that i really didn't like one the taste of the vanilla flavor left a lot to be desired i found myself trying to mix it into other things to mask the taste like that's not a good sign right there but even when added to milk and cereal and yogurt and coffee and everything the taste was just still that bad second thing the cost and the protein percent of calories vary based on flavor if you go on flavored you get the highest protein percentage of 85 percent and the cheapest cost at a dollar 16 to a dollar 48 which is a massive win-win on the flip side however the chocolate flavor costs about a dollar 93 and has the lowest protein percent of calories at 75%, which makes it the double-edged sword tanking the product's value for these reasons here. And also it only ships to the US and the UK. So if you're Canadian like me, you're screwed. We're gonna have to give it rough reps. So let's throw that up there. Next one is Dametize ISO 100 protein powder. This is an ideal protein powder for post-workout, but won't be that great for managing hunger or providing prolonged satiety. Like the Alani New and the Dimatize ISO 100 tastes very sweet, but has a strong flavor even when just mixed with water. The biggest issue with Dimatize ISO 100 is that the price varies massively online, ranging anywhere between $1.67 and $3.28 per serving huge range. If it wasn't due to this, I think it would hold its spot in the higher rankings. Unfortunately, with so many other high quality third-party tested whey isolates on the market, paying twice as much per serving for this brand simply isn't worth it. If you can find ISO 100 at the lower price point, it has a higher protein percentage at about 83 to 90% of protein with some delicious and unique flavors like Fruity Pebbles. This was honestly, or the Cocoa Pebbles, this was honestly one of the best I think it'll be really good for you guys. However, given these, we'll have to put it at middle of the way. Next one is pure protein, 100% whey protein. So in regards to macros, let's go through right now. 39 grams per scoop was actually quite a bigger scoop than all the other ones. You got 2.5 grams of fat, nine grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein. Pure protein is a blend of whey concentrate and whey isolate, making it a versatile any time of the day protein powder. It has a high visibility being readily available in supermarkets like Walmart and Target. So it's very easy to get and get your hands on. This product is what you might expect from a supermarket branded protein. Like I just mentioned through the macros there, it provides about 62% of protein per scoop and has a lot of additives like thickeners and gums and several sources of artificial sweeteners and flavors. The cost is good at $1.45 to $1.73, but it's, it's not the highest quality it is third party tested, but with all those other additives and thickeners and gums, I just don't think it deserves a top spot at all. There are definitely higher quality brands out there, which is the main reason why we need to put it a little lower on this tier. The only person I really recommend this protein to is if you're always on the go and if you're traveling and you're near a Walmart and you maybe wanna bring it back to your hotel room or something like that, then I'd highly recommend this because it's easy to find, right? The, the cost is good. You'll get some sort of you know protein in your diet but you will be getting those additives. And just due to those reasons, we're gonna have to put it at rough reps. It's definitely not at the very bottom of the tier list, but we're gonna have to put it at rough reps for sure. Next one is the GNC Whey Iso Burst. Now at the very start, if you're gonna be grabbing this off the counter, you're gonna notice right here, 40 grams of protein. Holy, this has gotta be the best protein out there. 170 calories, 40 grams of protein, 1.5 grams of carbs, one gram of fat. The scoop, if you turn to the back, is 47 grams. This must be a 95% plus protein percent of calories. However, when I was taking it, I nearly spat out my protein because I was staring at the tub and it says one serving size is actually two scoops. So one scoop is only 20 grams of protein. That is awful, awful. The cost per serving tops the charts at $3.10 per serving due to this reason. Now, if you were to put this in relative terms to find out the cost per 30 grams of protein, the cost per serving would fall around $2.35, which is still higher than the average. This is nearly a dollar more than that average of whey protein and well above even the highest quality brands like Transparent Labs. Overall, GNC Whey Iso Burst is absolutely not worth the price tag because you're not even getting 20 grams, you're getting 20 grams of protein. So you're not getting 21, you're getting 20. It's very expensive. Um, the taste was all right, but it wasn't even that good. Plus, 
you have to go to GNC only to buy it. So due to these reasons, we're gonna put it at hang up the scooper. Next one is the Muscle Milk Genuine Protein Powder. This definitely misses the mark as a protein powder. It markets itself as the genuine protein powder, but in reality, it only provides 45% of calories from protein. It fits better as a meal replacement product due to its higher carb, fat, and calorie content. For reference, this product has 20 grams of carbs per scoop compared to the one to four grams of carbs typically found in protein powders. Furthermore, our criteria for a reasonable protein powder starts at 65%. You gotta be at 65% or more. Muscle Milk is not even close to this number. It also has a very consistent pricing online, ranging anywhere between $1.50 and $3 per serving. The added nutrients and sport certification are not enough to redeem this product at the top tiers at all. And because of all these horrible reasons, we have to put it at hang up the scooper. Next up to the list is my protein impact whey protein. I think this is a phenomenal product. The first thing I like, this is the unflavored version, but I was also trying the mocha flavor and the mocha flavor is awesome. If that product is awesome, there's probably a good chance that the other flavors are awesome as well. It's very sweet and rich. This might be uh, too sweet for some people, but I really like the sweetness and uh, I thought the flavor was phenomenal. I think the macronutrient profile is awesome. It mixes really good, it dissolves very good, and it's very versatile. Because it's so thin, you can put it into shakes and coffee and oatmeal, in pancakes, which I've done. The cost is somewhere between $1.32 and $1.35 per serving, so it's definitely very cheap. The only drawback I would say in regards to the Impact Whey Protein by my protein is the lower grams of protein when compared to the other ones, where about 25 to 30 grams, especially for an isolate protein. They do use several different sources of artificial flavors and sweeteners, to achieve their rich flavors as well. So that could be another drawback for you guys. I can't really think of any reason why Impact Whey Isolate can't make its way into the regular routine. So for that reason, everyone, we're gonna give it Protein Paradise and we'll put it up there right now. All right, next up to the list is the Body Tech Whey Protein Isolates. Let's quickly go through the macros here, everyone. 25 grams of protein, two grams of carbs, one gram of fat with 22 servings in this container and one scoop is 30 grams. I was absolutely amazed to discover the high quality standards, great mixability, and low cost that Body Tech provided. Three great check marks so far. This is hands down one of the best mixing protein powders that I've ever tried, and it'll be a great option for anyone who is sensitive to texture or hates clumping proteins. Body Tech Whey Isolate offers 91% of protein per scoop and as low as $1.19. You cannot go wrong. However, unfortunately, the taste of the cookies and cream flavor, and I'm not sure about others, but for this one here specifically, was completely awful. Now, that is one of the most important things for me is even though it's got great protein percent of calories, it, it's cheap, if, I'm not, if I can barely take it and digest it, I'm not gonna buy it. It is, however, available in 18 different flavors, including some unique flavor options like apple cinnamon cereal and Wonder Woman sherbet. So even though my experiences with the cookies and cream left a bad taste in my mouth, I'm sure you guys are able to find a product for you. Given these reasons, I've put it at middle of the way. All right, everyone, we got three more protein powders remaining. How does it look? I think it looks fantastic so far. Um, if you guys have, by the way, before we finish here, if you guys have any comments or questions or anything you guys want answered, please leave them down in the comment section. Let's start a little conversation there. I've tried a whole bunch of proteins. I thought I'd do this tier list for you guys. It is very fun to do. It's very interactive. Um, let me know what you guys think so far, but let's get into the last remaining three proteins. Next one is rule one, which I had in the cookies and cream. It is the R1 whey blend, the 100% whey protein. Now, this is a big boy that I tried, but you guys can always get them in smaller versions. So it is a blend of whey concentrate, whey isolate, and the whey hydrolysate. This is a very versatile protein powder suitable for any time of the day. This blend adds a satiety factor that a pure isolate protein just doesn't provide and keeps the cost per serving lower. Four different size tubs and anywhere between $1.07 and $1.57 per serving. It has a slightly lower protein percentage than a pure isolate with 74 to 80% of protein per serving. The taste and mixability Rule one for me is unmatched. I find it provides a nice rich flavor without being unbearably sweet. And my personal favorites are the cafe mocha 
and the frozen banana. The big thing keeping this protein out of the king of gains is that some of the flavors use food dyes, which have potentially harmful side effects without adding any real quality experience to the protein. For that reason, and like I just said, we're gonna have to put rule one into protein paradise, which is still a great category to be in. It's just not at the top of the list. All right, everyone, second last is going to be reviewing the Rise Loaded Protein Vanilla Peanut Butter Review. This is a very difficult one for me to put in there, but let's go through the macros here. 2.5 grams of total fat, four grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein, sitting at 35.8 grams per scoop. Honestly, guys, everything about Rise fell right in the middle of the pack for me here. Because they're unique flavors, some of their proteins have higher carb and fat content, which means that their protein percentage ranges between 67 to 77%. At Feast Good, this is about the reasonable and good category. It kind of falls right in the line with the other popular lifestyle brands like Ghost and Alani New, who offer similar protein percentages and similar cost per serving. Rise comes in at about $1.67 per serving, which is right in the middle, it's mediocre. The blend of protein powders in Rise make it a versatile option for a lot of people to use. It mixes up with a creamier texture and will provide some extra satiety throughout the day. Now, despite its popularity, I think the cost per serving isn't justified. And unless you want to try one of their unique flavor collabs, this protein powder is far from the first pick. Given all of its reasons, we are going to be putting it at middle of the way. And the last protein to review is the Thorn Whey Protein Isolate. Let's get straight into it. One rounded scoop is 30 grams, 21 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, and one gram of total fat. Now, their protein did a lot of really good things well for me personally. With no clumping, dissolved easily, had a nice creamy texture, had added digestive enzymes, help you break down the protein, which is a pro, and makes for better digestion and fewer potential side effects. It is third-party tested and NSF certified, one of the highest sports standards available, and does not use any artificial colors, sweeteners, or flavors. So what's keeping Thorn from being at the king of gains? Well, Thorn is the most expensive protein that I have currently tested, costing anywhere between $2.07 and $0.07 per 21 grams of serving or higher. This one comes in at 21 grams, six to seven grams lower than everybody else. The second drawback, is that Thorn is only currently available in two flavors, chocolate and vanilla, the most basic flavors out there in the market, which could get dull with long-term use if you're someone that likes to switch it up a bit. If your budget allows for it, Thorn Protein is definitely a high quality product and you can take advantage of their various health quizzes and assessments to build a complete supplement stack and save some money. Now, due to all these reasons that we've gone through, we think Thorn Protein belongs at Protein Paradise. Take a look at the final product here, everyone. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your opinion on all these products. What do you like? What don't you like? Do you think this was a fair judgment of these proteins? And if you guys wanna see more of these type of videos, these tier list videos, please let us know down in the comments section. Like always, if you guys want a more in-depth review on all these products, make sure to check out the description box. We'll put all that information down there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.